I can tell you, if we look at the uh, the team that went to the World Cup in 2006, most of them came from the under 20 team that played in the finals in 2001 in Argentina. Magnesian, Don Pinto, Sulem Mutari, Don Mensa were all in the under 20 World Cup. Now, if we look at the team that went to the World Cup in 2010, about six, seven of them came from the team that won the World Cup in Egypt under 20 in 2009. And since then, we have progressively uh, monitored the progression of young players from the under 17, under 20 into the senior team. We have also marketed our federation to the extent that it's become attractive and also enjoy some sponsorship patronage from our, our, our sponsors. So there's the, the burden of running the national team is alleviated to the largest extent by sponsorship. In this part of the world, the burden of running the national team is exclusively on the shoulders of government. Government bears a large chunk of the value, the cost of running this national team. But we also manage the team professionally to the extent that we will be able to attract sponsors. We have also enjoyed a very good relationship with our players. Our players uh, play not for the money. Contrary to the erroneous impression that some people think players play because of bonuses they earn. They earn far more bonuses from their clubs. They earn far more salaries from their clubs. But there is a spirit of patriotism that has been inculcated in the players. That any time they come to play for the country, the interest is to raise and serve the interests of our country. Getting bonuses is secondary. And this spirit has been done because of the way we related to the player. We have a code of conduct of players in camp, and every player who comes to the team signs into this code of conduct and submits himself to the rules and regulations of camp. And so whether you are a big player like Samuel Eto or a small player like Kosi Yantechi, when you come to the national team, you are all treated equally. There is no discrimination, and all of them accept that. And there is a very healthy competition amongst our players. And we have a good rapport with them. There are various channels of communication with players to uh, uh, address their grievances. So player agitations are minimal and to a large extent they don't exist in our team. Except we went to Brazil and one erupted and consumed all of us. <laughs> we, we also have a good relationship with the government. The government has been very cooperative. Government works closely with the Federation and they are partners in developing the national team and that has been very good. The Ghanaian supporter is very passionate about the national team. People pray for the team. Uh, some of them you don't even know and have not heard of. The media has been doing very well uh, until recently that there has been some unproductive criticisms uh, which are, are <laughs> you know. But in the main, I think that we have had a lot of stakeholders working as team players. And that has been to the uh, benefit of the national team.